Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be covering the topic of Pico controller positions. Now this is changing every other update. Um, there is an app check exe within the driver files which will essentially look to what the game is using whether it's Oculus or Vive and it will adjust your controllers to try and match which when you when you're launching games in SteamVR you may notice a slight jump in position. That is uh, normal. It's basically matching what the skeleton model is of the, the game that's running. So in my case, um, there's a few games that aren't in exactly perfect and they don't have position adjustment within game. So I'm going to let you in on the, the best kept secret from Pico. Um, and I'm a bit peed off, I've only just been told about this. Essentially, I'm going to get the headset off my head and guide you to the Pico Chinese Community Forum, um, which has a tool for real-time adjustments of the controller positions. And not just that, in the in the tool itself, if you're using Stream Assistant or I guess Pico Link Wireless, you can actually also adjust the brightness, gamma, contrast, um, all the rest of it, real time while you're in the headset. Um, for DisplayPort mode on Neo Free Link, any of this tool, you need to use the custom DisplayPort drivers because the the directory that this tool is working from um, is obviously only applicable to the new custom DisplayPort drivers. But let's just focus on fo uh, Pico 4 for a minute here. So it's all explained in this. This is going to be in Chinese. I've obviously converted it to English to read it, download it. Um, I will link a, a shared RAW in the video description, but you can download it yourself from this um, website if you really want to. So what I'm going to do now is explain how to get this. So if I go into where I've got the, the RAW file, I've already extracted it. Um, I'm basically going to copy the folder it gave me and paste it into the directory of um, Pico Link. So from here, if I just do right click on the Stream Assistant um, icon, I just realized I said Pico Link, sorry about that, but right click the Stream Assistant icon, open file location, that takes you to the install directory. And I'm going to go to the driver folder, bin folder, Win64 folder, and you just need to paste the folder here. Um, before I do that, I will explain if you are just annoyed at the, the slight jump in controller positions and you think that is what's messing up your controller positions, um, this app check exe is what's responsible. So if you don't want that to happen, just drag it to your desktop, just make sure it's out of the driver directory and you won't have that jump um, in your controller models as you start a game. Um, but for argument's sake, I'm just going to leave this in here. And I'm now going to paste in these um, files. But because I'm already connected to Steam VR, um, what's going to happen, I don't know whether OBS is going to catch this, it's going to basically add um, an admin start to the to the file that's needed. So this is now saying um, this Pico panel is allowed to make changes. I'm going to click yes. And what's going to happen here, if I bring up a Steam VR mirror again and get the headset back on, you might see that I've got a new icon in Steam VR. So I've got a Pico panel down here and I've got the config that I can use um, the Steam Steam VR overlay to adjust, so I could be in game and do this. Um, but I can just basically cover the brightness. I mean, I can just hold that to increase. Um, you're gonna obviously take a while to get to a, a point you can actually see it, but when you reset color, that makes an obvious change. So this is working. This won't work on DisplayPort Neo Free Link because obviously DisplayPort doesn't doesn't read the same values. Um, if you want to just adjust your brightness in DisplayPort, just do it in standalone before you start the DisplayPort connection. Um, continuing on, the controller models um, itself, so again there's a, an MP4 video that will show you this, uh, you can probably see this in video, I'm not entirely sure of how the capture is coming out because I'm obviously blind to the screen, but my controller is now point, pointing down. If I reset controller you should be able to see what's happened. So these are adjusting real time. So you can do this in games um, and for me that is an absolute lifesaver um, for two reasons. On Revive, um, the controllers are just so far out on some of these titles. So Lone Echo, for example, there's a situation where you need to use your index finger to press your wrists. It's no way near. So if I demonstrate where the controllers are, I should be doing this in the game. My, my hand is over here, so there's no way I can possibly play that game uh, through Revive. Um, but with this tool, that now allows me to correct it because obviously the game's never going to have that sort of correction. It doesn't presume everything's going to be that broken. So this tool is an absolute lifesaver. 
not just for Pico 4 Stream Assistant, but again, if you want to use this in DisplayPort mode or a new free link, the image stuff won't work, but the controller stuff will. You need to use the custom DisplayPort drivers. That is the only way this will work. So again, it gets you out of the hole. Um, Boneworks on a Pico new free link has your hands way up here because Boneworks devs just abandoned their bloody game. Um, it's relying on skeleton models within Steam VR, which still hasn't been passed on to DisplayPort mode. So the only way I could ever correct that is with this tool, which I've only just discovered now, I've only just been told about this. Um, so I can finally play Boneworks on the Pika New for Link because that's a very simple correction. All I need to do is basically bring the controllers down. I don't need to touch any rotations, pivot points or anything. I just need to bring them down, which is to front to back or up to down. Yeah, this is this is awesome. Um, so I can imagine a lot of people are going to get some use out of this. Um, I would hope that this could get built into streaming the system because it just makes sense. Um, there's so many games that are not fully compatible, not in the right place, and don't allow you to adjust them in-game. So it's just having a tool built into Steam VR like this, it's, it's awesome. So yeah, I hope you get some use out of this. I'll leave a link in the video description. Um, Scream at Pico if you want this built in because I don't see any reason why this wouldn't wouldn't be built in because yeah I'll be happy to just click OK every time I start Steam VR to allow an admin thing um, I'm happy with that I don't know whether everyone else is but yeah this is this is awesome so thank you very much for watching and I hope this really does help you cheers guys.